Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. A, B, C, D and E lie on the circle with center O. So we can see that the points A, B, C, D and E are all lying on the circle. Angle A, E, B is 35 degrees. So we can see that A, E, B is given as 35 degrees and angle ODE is 28. So ODE is given as 28 degrees and angle ACD is given as 109 degrees. Work out the following angles giving reasons for your answers. So they want us to find out the angle EBD for the first question. So first we need to find out angle EBD that is over here. So E B and D. So this is the angle we need to find out first. To begin with we can see that there are many triangles and many quadrilaterals inside the given circle. So let us start with the innermost triangle of the circle that is triangle O E D. Now we can see that O E is the radius of the given circle and OD is also the radius of the given circle. Since OE is equal to OD because both are radius, we can say that triangle OED is an isosceles triangle. Hence, we can write angle OED also as 28 degrees. Now once we get the angle E and angle D, we can find out the third angle by using the angle sum property of a triangle. That is angle E plus angle D plus angle O is equal to 180 degrees. So angle E is 28 and angle D is also 28. We need to find out this angle O. So we have angle O as 180 minus 28 plus 28. So let's see how much we get here. So it is 124 degrees. So we got the angle OS 124. So let us mark it over here 124 degrees. Now to find out angle EBD we have to use a circle theorem which is given as angle at the center. You can see that I have already drawn a circle and there are two points A and B and a center O. The theorem states that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. Now the two points A and B make an angle with the center of the circle and the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference. So let me take that point as point C. So according to the given theorem the angle at the center that is angle AOB is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference which is angle ACB. So for example if we take the angle at the circumference as 40 degrees then angle at the center is going to be 2 times 40 which is going to be 80 degrees. The vice versa is also possible that is if we take the angle at the center as 100 degrees for example then at the circumference it is going to be half of the angle at the center. So it's going to be 50 degrees. So let us see how we can use this theorem in the given example above. We can see that the two points E and D make an angle at the center and the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference at point B. Hence, we can write it as angle EOD, that is angle at the center, is 2 times the angle at the circumference, which is EBD. So, we write it as angle EBD. Now, this is the angle we need to find out. And we have got the angle at the center of the circle by the isosceles triangle and using the angle sum property of triangle. We got it as 124 degrees is equal to 2 times angle EBD. 
or we can write it as angle ABD is equal to 1 over 2 times 124 which gives us 62 degrees so we write here as angle EBD is 62 degrees because isosceles triangle and angle at the center is 2 times the angle at the circumference so these are the two reasons now let us look at the next part of this question we have to find out the angle EAD that is this angle and we have to give the reason now here also we can see that the points ED make an angle at the center of the circle and the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle so using the above theorem that is angle at the center we can say that angle EAD that is angle EAD which is the angle at the circumference is equal to 1 over 2 times the angle at the center that is angle EOD so in the previous part of this question we had got angle EOD as 124 so we are going to use the same method here and we get it as 62 degrees so we are going to write the angle EAD as 62 degrees and the reason being isosceles triangle that is for the center triangle which we used and the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference now moving on to the last part of this question work out the angle BEO so we can see that B E and O is the small angle which we need to find out and I have marked the 28 degrees for the OED angle because triangle OED was isosceles now to find out this let us consider the cyclic quadrilateral A C D E and back to A now we have to use the cyclic quadrilateral theorem over here the cyclic quadrilateral theorem states that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral sum up to 180 degrees as you can see here that I have already drawn a circle and I have marked four points on it as A, B, C and D let me join the points so A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circle now according to the theorem the opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral that is for example angle A and angle C so they add up to 180 degrees so we can write it as angle A plus angle C will add up to 180 degrees and the same thing applies to the rest to opposite angles that is angle B and angle D so we can write it as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees so let's try to use this theorem to solve the example above we can see that A C D E is a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices are on the circle and angle E and angle C are opposite to each other so we can write here as angle C plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees that is angle C and the entire of angle E now angle C is given as 109 degrees plus angle E is broken down into three angles that is 35 degrees plus angle B E O the small angle plus 28 degrees so this will all add up together to give you 180 degrees so since we have to find out angle BEO so we will solve it as angle BEO is equal to 180 degrees minus all the angles on the other side so 109 plus 35 plus 28 so let us see how much we get here so we get the angle as 8 degrees 
it's a very small angle I hope you have understood all the steps and liked my video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.